the San Francisco 49ers brought in Javon Hargrave as their big time free agent signing this offseason. And we got to see him for the very first time against the Broncos. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull a couple of his best plays. Now, he only played 10 snaps and I've got three reps here to show how disruptive this player really is. Now, on this play, this would have been a sack. This should have been a sack, and it wasn't because, as you can see, he was held by the caller by number 74 as he instantly beat him to the outside, would have got around. Russell Wilson wouldn't have even seen Hargrave coming in, but as you can see right there, 74 gets his hand on the caller and pulls, and you can see how Javon Hargrave's whole body changes. He didn't do that on purpose. He, Hargrave was like, oh, no, no, I'm going to let I'm gonna let Wilson go. No, that was him being held by the caller and having his entire, basically, body weight redistributed based on the pull. And guess what? No penalty. No penalty. Refs were staring right at it. This would have been a uh, knockout sack by Javon Hargrave. I think this was one of the very first plays of the game. Uh, should have been a sack. Instead, at minimum, it should have been holding. And instead, it was a big gain for Russell Wilson. Funny how that works. But okay, Javon Hargrave would have had a sack on the very first one. This was, I think, the very first play of the game. And what I liked particularly about this play is that it was a screen and Javon was clued in on it from the jump. And if you look at Javante Williams, because Javon Hargrave was there in position to at least attempt to make a play, look at Javante's eyes. He pulls it off the ball and he drops it as a result. You have to give some credit to Javon Hargrave for being in that position, for being so close to Javante that Javante got spooked and heard the footsteps because Javon was able to work to the outside, able to identify the screen and put himself in position to make a play. In fact, you know, you can give him I would give him credit for that because you could see Javante looks straight at Hargrave to ensure where he was at. And he couldn't bring the ball in. And you can see Hargrave was right there to make a move. Now, this was my favorite play of the entire day. How often have we seen Russell Wilson, of course, when he played with Seattle Seahawks, step up into the pocket and make something shake? Not today with Jay Vaughn Hargrave. I mean, what I love about this is he's taking kind of an outside path. And it's it's pretty decent blocking right here but this is what a veteran does he gets to the depth of the quarterback so you can see he's level with the quarterback and so as he's pushing up field and he counter spins inside just like that he has a free he has an ability to get free and chase down russell wilson and tackles him how often have we seen that from a interior 49ers defensive lineman playing against Russell Wilson. This was rare. This is one of the things that have given us headaches for years, watching Russell Wilson just step up right into the pocket, dip out, and get first downs. Look at Fred, though. Fred was ready to cook him. Uh, a part of me wanted to see Javon not get this tackle, to see Russell Wilson versus Fred Warner one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. I think that would have been phenomenal because Fred was – Look at Fred, dude. He he knew what was coming. Uh, and Javon basically saved Russell Wilson from getting absolutely destroyed. But again, this is uh, Javon only played 10 snaps, guys. 10 snaps. And three of them he had an impact on a on the play. So if Javon is making an impact on 30% of the snaps that he's playing, that's gonna be huge. Because if Nick Bosa is making an impact on 30 to 40 percent of the snaps that he plays, if Eric Armstead is making an impact on 15 to 20 percent of the plays he makes, it starts adding up. So 
I I was really, really happy with what I saw from Javon Hargrave. Again, limited snaps with the first team. No Nick Bosa. You got to see how he's going to work on an island. He looks he looks very difficult to block in pass blocking situations. As you can see, again, he get him getting right around that guard and would have sacked uh, Russell Wilson for a loss. Him being able to read and diagnose screens and put himself in a position and, again, force Javante to take his eyes off the football and be alert on him. That's a win. And then, of course, any time that you can affect the pocket by collapsing it in some sense or getting the quarterback to step up and feel uncomfortable and then track him down, that is a big, big W. I'm really looking forward to what Javon Hargrave is going to be able to do for the San Francisco 49ers throughout the season and, of course, what it's going to look like once Nick Bosa returns. This is going to be a fun defense to watch, guys. I'm really looking forward to what we get. What did you think of uh, Javon Hargrave's first performance with the 49ers? Uh, again, in preseason, but he was going up against the Broncos starters. Let me know.